Ugh. How? Muta Malacrusta! Uh, sorry about that. Just one of my many Disney impressions. Eh, what the heck. Another one, shall we? Bon cher, mademoiselle. It is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. Now, we invite you to relax, let us pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents... The Drama Dude. Bonjour! 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 Bonjour, everyone out there in internet land. As I said before, this is the Drama Dude, and this is my Disney Plus Dream Job submission video for Reviews.org. In this video, I have to explain why I feel I would be a supercalifragilistic candidate for the Disney Plus Dream Job of reviewing Disney shows and movies on the new streaming service. Ooh. I am a huge Disney dork. As you can see from my Toy Story shirt and my lanyard with all of my beautiful Disney pins and my former Disney cast member tag, Disney College Program Fall of 2007. I still regard it as the best job I ever had. Why also, what else would make me a great Disney Plus reviewer is that I once did a rap review of the movie Moana. Just check out this clip. Hey, what's happening, Twitter? I'm here to share with you my rapping skills, which in truth is either uh, hit or miss. Here with my friend Morgana, we went and saw Moana, the newest flick by Disney, which I think is gonna be a House of Mouse classic because it was fantastic and Lin-Manuel Miranda well <laughs> he is the last pick to disappoint when it comes to writing superlative rhyme and <sighs> I gotta go because it's after my bedtime another thing that would make me a great Disney Plus reviewer is that I know a whole bunch of Disney trivia for instance did you know that Jim Carrey was considered for the voice of Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story another choice was Billy Crystal he called it the biggest regret in his life not taking that role. So when he got offered the part of Mike Wazowski in Monsters, Inc., before they even told him what it was, he said, I'll do it. And pretty much every movie on my favorite movie list is a Disney movie. Aladdin, Hercules, Fantasia, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Little Mermaid, Mary Poppins, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. But if I had to pick one Disney movie to take with me on a deserted island, that has a TV and a Blu-ray player, but funny enough does not have a phone where I could call for help, it would have to be The Lion King. The Lion King is my favorite Disney movie for so many reasons. It has a fantastic story, the animation is magnificent, the songs are brilliantly written by Sir Elton John, Lebo M, and Tim Rice. The Lion King just has a special place in my heart because I got to see the movie before anybody else at the New York City premiere in Radio City Music Hall and I got to see The Lion King on Broadway in February of 1998 just a couple months after it first opened at the New Amsterdam Theater and I got to see it again 10 years later at the Minskoff Theater with my best friend and it was still amazing. So, for those of you who have never seen The Lion King before, how have you been living? Ha! Just kidding. Really though, The Lion King is a fantastic story. Like I said before, it's about a young prince named Simba who is a lion. And his father, Mufasa, who's the king, and his evil uncle Scar, who wants to become the ruler of Pride Rock. And he has an army of hyenas. And he has three hyenas named Shenzi, Bonzi, and Ed, who are his top three hyenas. You wonder why, though, because as Scar says, I'm surrounded by idiots. 
So Scar and the hyenas cause a huge wildebeest stampede to happen in a canyon that Simba is in. But Simba narrowly escapes with the help of his father Mufasa. However, Scar pushes Mufasa into the canyon where he gets killed by the wildebeest stampede. Simba thinks it's all his fault and Scar confirms that belief so Simba runs away and he meets Timon and Pumbaa a meerkat and a warthog, and they teach him all about Hakuna Matata and not to worry so much and to just shirk off responsibility. And Simba's pretty happy so far with that kind of life until a mandrel named Rafiki comes to Simba and teaches him, oh yes, the past can hurt, but the way I see it, you either run from it or learn from it. One of the best life lessons I ever got from a Disney movie. And so Simba embarks on a journey, and he learns to face his fears and his demons, and gain courage, and become the rightful ruler of Pride Rock. I know I probably got a little overdramatic in that review of The Lion King, but that's because I love Disney! So in conclusion, I think I would make a great Disney Plus reviewer for Reviews.org. I love Disney, I know all kinds of facts, I am a former Disney cast member from Magic Kingdom, and all the pep and energy I'm putting into this video, I promise to put in every review. So I'd like to thank you for letting me submit my Disney Plus dream job submission video. And if you like this video, you should subscribe to my channel, The Drama Dude. Just click the little subscribe button there at the bottom. And I hope that I'm being considered for the position. And if I don't get the job, eh, nothing to worry about. As Timon and Pumbaa in The Lion King once said, Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata.